Hello, in today's video I will demonstrate how you can boost your SOLIDWORKS functionality using SOLIDWORKS macros. I will show where you can access dozens of free SOLIDWORKS macros and a tool allowing you to manage your SOLIDWORKS macro libraries with an ease. In this video demonstration I will be using multi-body sheet metal part and the first macro would allow me to rename my catalyst feature using the catalyst custom properties. In this case, I'm going to use part number as a source of the name of my catalyst feature in the feature manager tree. Sometimes it could be very beneficial to understand what catalyst the flat pattern belongs to. So I'm going to use another macro which allows me to rename flat pattern feature after the catalyst name. We can access those macros from the code stack website under the SOLIDWORKS goodies section. We can navigate to the category catalyst and download rename catalyst features macros. You can read the article to understand how this macro work and what configuration options available. For now, I'm just going to copy the code and create new macro in SOLIDWORKS. Here I have a toolbar, but it is also available under the menu. Let's create new macro, save it to macros folder, give it some name and paste the code. So I'm just going to configure this macro to rename catalyst items using the part number custom property. So for that, I need to specify the scope of the properties to be part number and also change the naming template to just use my part number custom property. Of course, you can use more properties or you can use any free text in that name template. I will save this macro and navigate back to CodeStack website to download another macro to rename flat patterns. This macro is available under the part category and it's called rename flat patterns after cut list. In a very similar way, I'm going to copy the code, come back to SOLIDWORKS, create new macro, give it a name, save it and place the code over here. I will keep default options for this macro. In order to improve the experience of using those macros, it will be nice to place them into the menu and a toolbar, just similar to any other SOLIDWORKS command is. In order to achieve this result, I'm going to use custom toolbar module from CAD Plus Toolset Community Edition. I can simply drag and drop my macros onto the layout to create the macros group. I can give that group a name, so let's call it Sheet Metal Plus. If I'm going to have toolbar for that, this is going to be the name of my toolbar. Now let's slightly modify the settings of my macros. I'm just going to give it different title and description. I can also browse for an icon. So in this case, I'm just going to use icon I already have here. I can specify some additional behavior options. So in my case, this macro will only work in parts. So I'm going to set the environment to part. Now I'm going to specify similar options for the second macro. I will also set the scope to part as this macro is only applicable in a part environment. It is required to restart SOLIDWORKS to apply the changes. After restarted, you will be able to find your Sheet Metal Plus toolbar in the toolbar list. So let's activate it to place the buttons on our toolbar. When you move the mouse over the buttons, you can see the title and description displayed accordingly. Those commands are also available in the menu. We can now press those buttons which will run the corresponding macro. So the first one renames all of our cut list with cut list custom property part number. So we can just quickly validate that the result is correct. So you can see the part number of this item has been applied to the cut list name. Let's now scroll down and run second macro to rename our flat patterns. So in a similar way, our flat patterns are now named after our cut list names. Let's go ahead and now we'll demonstrate another macro which allows to apply the custom naming for your new files using the shared counter. So we can find this macro on the model category and let's copy that code, come back to SOLIDWORKS, create new macro, give it a name, and paste the code. It is required to set the path to the counter file, which is a simple text file. So let me create a new file here, call it counter.txt and just specify the default value to be zero. Let's hold the shift button to activate copy as path menu 
and paste that path into the macro. We can modify the number format and base name, so I'm just going to name it as item 001, 002, etc. So now let's run this macro. We create new part and run the macro. And you can see that our title has been renamed. Now we can set up another button for this macro, so we can run it every time we create a new part to apply new title to this part. But that's not an ideal scenario, as ideally we want this macro to be run every time you create new file, instead of running this manually, which could be prone to errors. Fortunately, custom toolbar allows you to set up a triggers for your macros. So let's go to configure, create new group, let's call it triggers. Of course, you can add this macro to any other group, create new macro. Now we're going to browse that macro, give it some name. So in this case, I'm not going to create a toolbar item for that. So I do not need to use icon, but I also want to specify the scope to be part. And under my triggers, I'm just going to select new document. So this macro is going to be run every time new document is created. So let's click OK, restart SolidWorks and validate the changes. Now when we create new part document, you can see that the title is automatically changed with the next counter value. So let me create new part. And as you can see, counter is incremented and title has been changed. You can find more information about macro library and custom toolbar tool by visiting the link in the description of this video. Thank you for your time.